Welcome back. This is the third video on building mobile game solvers and in this video we are going to learn about image processing. So overview. This is what we will cover. What is an image? What is it made up of? And various commands that can be used in MATLAB and links to learn more. So image processing is a huge topic and taking a course on image processing is recommended. However, we will try to cover all the topics that you will need to solve the games. What is an image? It's just a 2D array of pixels. By pixels, I mean small blocks on the screen. So I'm not really sure if you can see this on the screen, but this image, if you look closely, they are made up of small blocks. And each of the blocks is called a pixel and each of these blocks has its own color. And when there are so many blocks like that, when there are so many pixels like that and you have a zoom out view, it looks like a complete image. But this is basically a 2D array or a 2D matrix of pixels. Let us take another example for deeper understanding. So this is a 500 by 500 pixel image. That means that you have 500 pixels along the X direction and 500 pixels along the Y direction here. And this image is a low resolution version of the same person. So this is just a 20 by 20 image. So if you can see the image here, uh, we are uh, having dots on this image and each dot represents a pixel. And as you can see, each of the dots has its own color. And when, when such dots are combined, you get an image. And this image is not clear. When you have lots of pixels like this, this is just 20 by 20 here. If you have 500 by 500 pixels, you get a clear image. And so an image is basically made up of pixels. Next, let us learn how different colors can be represented as numbers. So any color can be represented as a combination of red, green and blue. Let me, uh, let me show that to you practically now on paint. So if I open paint, you can see that you can choose your colors here. And so you have red zero, green zero, blue zero. <clears throat> it's because that's black. So if you go to a specific color, you can see different values of red, green and blue. So each of this color can be represented by three values, red, green and blue. And as I go around the screen and select different colors, you can see that you have all red, green and blue. So if I go to this corner, it's red. So you have high value of red, little green and little blue. So this is how different colors can be represented as a combination of red, green and blue. Let us look at different types of images. So this is a binary image. In a binary image, you only have black or white. This is a grayscale image where you have black, white, and then various shades of gray. And this is a RGB image where you also have different shades of gray plus all the different colors. Now let's look at how each of them can be represented in MATLAB. So this is how a binary image looks like. And this is how a binary image can be represented in MATLAB. So it's just a 2D matrix with zeros and ones. So the ones represent the white color and zeros represent the black color. So if you have a circle, it's probably ones all around here and zeros everywhere else. So that is how a binary image is represented. In a grayscale image, your values vary between zero and 255. Zero representing black and 255 representing white. And you can see that uh, different uh, numbers represent different shades of gray. And the numbers close to 255 are close to white and the numbers close to zero are kind of dark and close to gray. So if this is your image, this is how it's actually represented in MATLAB. So depending on the pixels color, so this is very dark, so you have a value of six here. And this is very bright, so you have a value of 251 here. And this is how MATLAB stores a grayscale image. And when you display it, this is what you see. This is how a normal RGB image is represented. So it is represented by three grayscale images. One grayscale for red, one for green and one for blue. So if you look closely, you have different colors here. And this is uh, here you have red. So you can see that in the red layer, this is kind of white. So this part of the image is dark. 
so you can see that uh, the component the red component is zero green component is zero and blue component is zero so you basically have three grayscale images or three grayscale layers which represent red green and blue and by combining all these three you can store an rgb image so if this is a 500 by 500 resolution image what you see in matlab is a 500 by 500 by 3 and the 3 corresponds to r g and b and uh, to learn image processing in matlab i have a video series that you can go through so uh, if you have no prior experience i strongly recommend that you have to look at the five videos in the series you can also look at all the eight videos but the first five videos will be extremely essential and they are the concepts that you will have to know to solve games on the mobile. So uh, go ahead and watch these videos.